El Patroness from Tabay Shore. 100 metres to go. El Patroness by about a length and a quarter to Bay Shore. Then a wall of horses. El Patroness too good. El Patroness won it from a photo. Flashing home never again or to Bay Shore. 150 metres to go as four or five lengths in front. She is far too good for these. She dances to the line. It's going to absolutely romp in. Won the dash by five. Private Jumbo second. He's all shenanigans, 100 metres to go. Staves off the despised outsider and comes clear. And she's all shenanigans, trotted in. Wall of them for second. Getting through on the inside, Elphingston, Treasure Way. And then... Old Town is finishing hard, but it's all pinstriped. Pinstriped is going to be too good. Switches off near the line and scored three legs. Voltan second and third was Rolls. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, for the preview for listed Mornington Cup Day. Quite keen on a few on this card. And, of course, a couple of at value that I like as well. Um, but looking to be get, pressing forward with the... Good tipping because they did an excellent job last weekend in tipping. She's all shenanigans, pinstriped, and a massive other winners. So looking forward to this week. Hopefully we can go well again, and let's get into it. Mornington Race 1 is a two-year-old set weights over the 1,200 metres, and I'm with Claymore Mine for Jai McNeil and Pat Carey from Barrier number 6. Pretty keen on this horse. Um, three trials to get ready for this. Um, and it has jumped out like a bomb, and I think, um, can lead or sit off them, has done both in its trials, and I think Senior Jockey on first start, draws well, it's going to be hard to beat from La Zebra for second, drawn one, the rail, likely leader in the race, was very good behind a Mur. that horse has been very stakes, uh, competitive and winning over his campaign so far, and does have Geordie Childs for the Brown team. Chilled, I was happy to take on. Three start maiden. Broke it last up, but been much easier grade than this. Is going to have to step up to win. And Rov Rovno Amber, the other one of the first starters for Jamie Watt and Shane Nichols, I think, could run well from barrier number three, the two year old cop. But Claymore Mine on top, Mornington Race 1, $20 the win. I'm quite keen on its chances. Mornington Race 2 is a Phillies and Mares, 1600 meter handicap, and I'm with Defiant Diva for Craig Williams here. Draws out, draws out wide for the Leon and Troy Corson's team, but I honestly think it's it's D-Day here. It's a matter of good luck beating her. It was absolutely enormous last start behind Unusual Culture at Sandown, and that should lead her in good stead here. Got to carry the weight, but should be winning. From Warm Smile for second, fourth up, can it show something near its best? Uh, $6 is a good price to find out. Flash Mary hit the line hard last start. Sheridan Clark sticks for Cindy Orson and Soaring Eagle back to the 1600 metres could see it run a race. But De Defiant Diva on top. Mornington race two. Quite keen on its chances. I think we'll be winning 30 the win. Mornington race number three is a benchmark 70 handicap over the 1000 metres and my best bet. At Mornington comes up here, and it could be, well, the best bet of the weekend. Ran Via, number three here for Matt Laurie, Mickey D aboard with the 16 and a half from Barry number four. I think it'll take a heap of beating here. Has been gullied returning to the races. Has a stallion chain off, and the winkers off for the first time. And I'm very, very confident that this horse will win for, by about two lengths, maybe even three, drawing away. Been very good in two trials leading up to this. Um, a two tri well, tri yeah, two trials leading into its resumption. First, the first one being on heavy ground, so, so the soft track doesn't worry me. And the second was very comfortable in winning. Um, and just off its form from its last campaign, hasn't raced for nearly two years. Might need the run, but just has class and class and class on its side. I think it'll win. Extravagant star for second could run a race if it runs here, but. It could run it in Adelaide. Tax free profit, very good first up horse over the odds at $17 in El Salto. Good win last start, but faces a tougher assignment here. But Ranvier on top, race three Mornington, 50 the win. It's over the line as far as I'm concerned. Mornington, race number four is the benchmark 78 handicap over the 2000 metres, and I found it very hard to split my top two selections here and Convener and Golden Crusader. I'm going with Golden Crusader. Has the upside, drawn the rails, 
has a apprentice, inform apprentice on who's ridden this horse. It's parts four, uh, two starts, sorry, at Mooney Valley and Sandown in winning over the 2040 and the 2100 metres. So back to the 2000 metres, doesn't worry me. Has a good record on soft ground, has a good record at the distance, and I think can take a bit of beating here. Because he'll lead on the rail and make the running out in front where Convener, they have to take their medicine, they have to go back from the barrier, and I think he'll have to make up too much ground. Azalee for third, a good chance, and Hector Damaris finally getting up to a distance where he can show his best at $41. He's also over the odds. But 30 to win Golden Crusader to lead all the way, and 10 to win on Convener just in case he's uh, too good for them. Mornington race number five, and I'm with Do Ya Punk over the 1200 metres for Peter Moody and Tommy Stockdale. Claims a kilo and a half off the 60 and a half. Brilliant first up and running third. Now uh, is second up. Comes back to this level from an 84. Will love the soft ground, and even if it, does, even if it goes to a good, will enjoy that as well. Barry number 10, not too concerned. 550, great price. The old, uh, the old half of the guard, Peter Moody, pretty confident Do Your Punk can win this. Sabanak over the odds first up, and can the real Sabanak please stand up? Ma Merrigan, uh, forgive his last start, can improve sharply in extreme flight uh, at ten dollars can run well. But Do Your Punk, I think, is the one to beat Mornington. Race number five, twenty-five to win. Race number six at Mornington is the Mornington Guineas over the mile, and I'm with. Dashing for Linda Meach and Aaron Purcell has a tri difficult draw in Barry number eight, but after la last week with uh, Linda Meach pulling off pearlers on she dances and she's all shenanigans, um, she can get a horse out and like, get it rolling from a bad draw. So, and I think in that case, Dashing is the one to beat, and just on his form alone, he's the one to beat. Ran third first up in an absolutely eye-catching performance. One easily second up, should have won uh, in Adelaide, and then last start ran very well in a driving finish um, in running third. Handles all conditions, clearly the one they have to beat with the booking of Linda Meach. Waltz on by was good, winning the Bendigo Guineas. Uh, the old guard, Peter Mee, Luke Nolan here, and I think can run really, really well. Uh, and is uh, market elect, so like I said, Cameron well. Elkington Road is the one I can see improving out of all of them. Just don't know if it can do it with the big weight, uh, but it is fourth up and does draw well in barrier number six. And Lethal Thoughts for the Vic Hustlers team um, can run well for Blake Shin and uh, Kiramar Davies. And from barrier number five, just a query about him on the soft track. Uh, I want to see him on top of the ground for him to show his best. But dashing the one to beat the Mornington Guineas, 40 the win. Race number seven at Mornington is the listed Hariba Stakes over 1,200 metres. And I'm with Jigsaw, the one to beat, and quite clearly on top. Barry and I, I can see them sending him straight to the front. The only leader in this race. And I think has to carry the weight, but he's a class horse and deserves to. And he's the one to beat from Turk Warrior. Um, they bring him over from Tasmania. To run really well here, first up three from four, and does have the white bearer, but has a lightweight for Iona Tonka, and I think can run well. Curran back to a, back to his best last start. Craig Williams stick, sorry Craig Newitt sticks, and locally trained at the track could be a hint. And bless her for fourth, Craig Williams with a lightweight, but I'm with Jigsaw and the Hariba, forty to win the class horse and ten the win saver on Turk Warrior. Mornington race number eight is the listed Mornington Cup over the 2,400 metres and vow and declares $7, really? Johnny Allen aboard for Danny O'Brien, Barry number eight, comes into the best form reference you're going to find in this race. The group one, Tank Red Stakes, uh, only beaten a length behind, or up behind Montefilia and King Frank on on the good track over the 2400 meters, the 2400 meter proven horse in this race. Got to carry the weight, but deserves two, and I think is the one to beat. Right You Are has just been winning everything this campaign. Probably the heavy track in the Easter Cup found him out, but I still think he ran really, really well. For very number 10, considered prominently non conformist, needs a, the, a dry track to run well and gear up. Now, this is his time to show his best. I think he can do so with John, Jamie Mott in the setup. But Val and Declare, the one to beat in the listed Mornington Cup, 30 the win. Mornington race number nine. It's a benchmark 78 handicap over the 1600 metres to finish the day. All about MacTube here. Two from two since coming to Australia. Blake Shin aboard for this run and is drawn. Barrier number two will settle very handy. Three from five, I think, is the one to beat in the last. 
and just is like uh, Ranveer. I think he's the one to beat, clear one to beat, and should be winning it. Marikana for second. Danny O'Brien for Celine Gordre has the lightest weight it's ever carried in its career and has a good, well, and this is the week it's race is uh, contested in its career, but does have the wide barrier. Nabusta and Bookman, I both thought were over the odds. Probably, in particular, Bookman, I think can, he, he can run well, but 50 win on Maktoub in the last. I think he's home. Thank you for watching my preview for Mornington Cup Day. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next weekend. And, of course, hope you're back a winner, and I hope I've found a winner for you. Thank you.